I'm Laura Bella, your host here at Ready, Jet, Set, Go! Here at Ready, Jet, Set, Go! We talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly in travels. So, time and again, it has happened that uh, there are circumstances that you can stop. Maybe you lost your wallet, you lo lost your passport, or like you got detained. Things like that happen while you're traveling. And so, those kind of circumstances, you are not ready. And so, that's the reason why we're here to discuss different things which actually have happened in person uh, with different people and obviously like uh, the more that you are aware of different things can happen the more chances that you can actually be prepared for whatever circumstances is going to be uh, coming your way and obviously uh, we are here in order to support you because like we want to make things work for you when you are traveling so um, our guest tonight is actually um, Carmel uh, Pointe and she is an entrepreneur and manages a company in the healthcare industry. She started um, to have an interest in traveling outside of US when she went to Dubai. And uh, she saw the beauty and uh, learned cultures of other countries. So hello, how are you, Carl? Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to have you. Yes, yeah. yeah. So uh, maybe you can tell us, um, how was your first travel? Actually, uh, that's my second travel. Okay. But the one uh, was only near here in the border of Canada. Ah. So, I mean, the significant, uh, you know, like I could remember my first time outside further from the uh, Chicago was in Dubai. That was during the time of 2020 pandemic time. Yeah, so it has so many restrictions during at that time. So, so stressful. You have to be you know like be ready of what are the things needed uh, to bring before um, going to another country especially it's a pandemic during at that time oh my goodness all right I would imagine like you know we have had guests you know um, who talk about the pandemic but obviously like that's a different uh, location that you're talking about that's in Dubai and we don't have any idea like what are the kind of restrictions so um, would you tell us the significant experience that happened while you were traveling uh, that you know something that you didn't expect out of the ordinary like I said it's a it's a travel um, I traveled during at the time of pandemic so there are so many restrictions that they are requiring you enable you to travel from O'Hare you have to show everything aside from your passport you have to show this uh, COVID uh, testing uh, you should not be positive uh, you should bring this uh, how do you call that that you are negative during uh -huh. at that time so it's really hard to travel during at that time and then when you I, I arrived in uh, Dubai, you have to show too the, uh, uh, those things that, are, th that uh, they were asking you to bring in able to uh, get in into Dubai. So those things that it's really hard and also social distancing. Uh, you have to wear a mask. Uh, during a time I was in the um, airplane. I, uh, you know, this, uh, it's not a mask. I forgot how do you call that. It's a plastic that you have to wear. And then I was thinking, I was inside the air, uh, airplane, um, I was not wearing masks. I thought that one could be uh, sufficient, enable me to, <laughs> you know, not to wear masks. And I was told by this uh, uh, stewardess, you know, you have to wear masks. So I have to wear masks. <laughs> yeah, so it's really hard. And uh, uh, those things, I really enjoyed traveling because inside the uh, air, I think we were only 15 people inside the airplane <laughs> so it's really um how do you call the spaces they are the how do you call that the the chairs you know i, I am alone <laughs> in that area in the uh, you know in that seat <laughs> there's no left and right or in, in in the middle so i really enjoyed during at the time okay and so um did they provided you with a mask because like uh, if you didn't bring a mask like you know I'm sure they have. Something. I think so, but I, I brought one during okay. at the time. I, I brought a lot <laughs> if in case. <laughs> yeah. And then when I arrived in, in uh, Dubai, I, I think I, I could remember, you know, there's social distancing, wearing of mask, something like that. And then also before I went home to Chicago, I have to have like a uh, COVID testing again. Mm. So I have to pay extra again. Mm. yeah so those things that i experienced during pandemic okay all right and so um, what was the reason why you went there no it's just like one thing i'm so excited during at that time 
to be out of the country because, you know, aside from the Philippines that I was traveling. Um, so Dubai is something new to me. Okay. I, I mean, a different culture, different things that I have to learn, uh, know the, um, how do you call that? Like um, the cultural differences between, you know, me as an Asian who lives in the in U.S. and how it would be in, in Dubai. So it's, uh, you know, it's really uh, like exciting. I mean, I, I went to many uh, places there. Uh, in Dubai, and I would like to go there again. <laughs> really? Sometime. Yeah. So that's some places you want to go back. Yes, again? yes, yeah. Okay. So those were the experiences that you know I, I could not uh, forget. Okay. And so uh, as far as like um, the the people who are there, were they nice? To, because like there's pandemic so there's social distancing oh my god the if you will, if, i mean you know like dubai is like a version of philippines <laughs> from from the airport to the restaurants to the uh sales uh person inside the mall you could see a, a lot of filipinos there oh. it's like i am in the philippines and uh, i think i was if I am going to uh, how Dubai looks like, because I think the architect, the uh, the manpower there are Filipinos. It looks like a version of Singapore, oh. and uh, well, it's I'm like Philippines. Probably, That's yeah. all I can say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what what was uh, supposed to be my next question for you. Like I was wondering, like, how did you see any Filipinos? Oh <laughs> my God! It's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. The way it is, like, how it is being treated in the Philippines, like, saying, "Ma'am, sir," oh, really? it's the way it is in Dubai. Oh. If uh, if you will encounter Filipinos there. But are there also uh, some in, uh, Asian countries? I think uh, there are some Indians as well. In yeah, yeah, lots of Indians there. I, I saw uh, Indians, Pakistanis. Uh, I saw um, I, I mostly uh, probably uh, the locals there. Okay. Yeah. Were there Filipinos surprised to see a Filipino tourist, or you know they thought that you were just working there as well? Um, you know, seeing Filipino. Uh, Filipinos around you're excited you know. okay, okay. <laughs> you're excited because <laughs> as if you are in 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 your country you are in the Philippines saying they are so respectful uh -huh. greeting you hello sir hello ma'am something like that so it's like you are in the Philippines did they ask you if you're Filipino or not yeah yeah okay they asked me are you Filipino I mean by the time I arrived in the airport lots of Filipinos by the time I arrived in in hotel still the same lots of Filipinos uh, you I went to the restaurants lots of Filipinos it's everywhere <laughs> okay all right and so um, I know that you went to uh, Dubai when it was pandemic so um, how did that affect you you know for your outlook on travel actually that's the farthest country that i traveled i'm going to tell you because i was i am so a i am a busy person and uh, what i learned from that is that there are so many things that we could learn when we travel while still young you have to travel when are you going to travel when you are old that you cannot walk around and see the beautiful places and learn many things uh in, in that country okay all right that makes sense because like you know um you're right we have to actually be traveling while we're still yes, you know, yes. capable like you don't want to be traveling when you're already in your walker right? yeah I, I experienced that one when i traveled in uh in in europe i mean you know uh, europe uh you have to walk and walk it's mm -hmm. different <laughs> compared here in the u.s i was shocked because uh, all the people there mostly all the people there are are walking around I mean, oh my God, in, in, in U.S., in short distances, you have to drive. There, you have to walk and walk. That's why I said, oh my God, I could not wear a high heel here in, in Europe. Because they traveled and plus the, the you know, the, the way it is built, the, the roads, it's like, uh, it's like a stone. So I think high heel, it's not good for them. You have to wear like a tennis shoes there.
Okay. All or right. flat shoes. And so what did you do? Like, you know, uh, did you bring a lot of clothing? Because like, obviously you like fashion. So did you bring a lot of clothing? Oh yeah, in every country, of course. I like, <laughs> I like to take a picture. So I have to show, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, lots of clothes. So were, were, were your, um, the Filipinos taking photos to help you? Because like you were by yourself, right? When yes, you actually I brought this thing, the stick one. <laughs> do a selfie and then put it there and then do some TikToks and so and so so that's what I did and then you know when I met some uh, Filipinos inside the the uh, how do you call that like the cruise so some were with me so what happened was that okay I, I volunteered to be their photographer and then at the same time you know my purpose is have them to uh, take a picture of me not always a <laughs> selfie thing Okay, I'm just laughing because like, you know, most Filipinos like taking pictures and so obviously you're, you're not an exception to that. And so like, you know, I'm just glad that you found picture, I um, mean, you know, people who's going to help you taking pictures of you. Yeah. And one thing more, when you are traveling, you have to learn about the country because it's uh, there's a big difference between you know where you are you are the way it, uh, you live in the u.s compared to their country so you have to know learn about their um how do you call it? What, what is that country where are you going going because i remember when i was in italy i was left behind by the group oh my god so i was almost crying and also don't forget to bring money when you were like uh, go out because anything happens you have something uh, you have a money that uh, uh, if in case there's an emergency that's one thing that uh, all i can say is that you know something happens and y you left your money you know like me in the cruise i said it's good that i brought a money what happened if i did not bring any money so those things that uh, i could uh, say that you know that you have to be aware when you go out with a group because my accent and their and <laughs> their accent is really different that's all i can say <laughs> sometimes uh the way you listen it's different from how they interpret how you talk you know with other people so those things that okay next time i will not go away from the group something like that i i should if you are with a group i should be with the group <laughs> so what happened why did you not make it on time okay it was raining oh. i forgot uh florence florence italy i was in florence italy it was raining so you know there are so many there were so many people uh taking pictures there and then this uh how do you call that um our guide okay go around and so we're gonna see each other here i said she said okay 115 i said 150 yes 115 <laughs> so i heard 150 <laughs> i said oh my god i was only there you know okay soon it will be 150 and i said where are my groups i could not remember because there were so many people there uh -huh. taking pictures in the middle of uh, of that area and then i said i forgot where are, where are my groups who are my groups even though they, uh, they will be there i don't know who are my groups so i was like oh my god where, where are my groups and suddenly it was 150 you know i was almost crying and then immediately i took my it's good i have money i went to the exchange and exchange it to dollars and i was walking by i said do you know this one nobody's uh uh, like sp they they, uh, they they are not uh, they were not speaking english mm -hmm. and i could not understand to italian so mm -hmm. i was <laughs> moving around moving around and then suddenly i saw like filipina passed by i mean oh my god it's like a miracle <laughs> i said are you filipina yeah, yes you know i was here i was lost no they left me so uh, so uh, i was here like you know taxis are passing by they don't uh they did not stop so she brought me in the taxi area and then she i, I think it, uh explain or in, interpret so that's how it is so i said oh my god i uh, i was really like my mind was so blank like where am i where where's my you know where's the cruise and then i i could remember i said i came from naples i think naples i think 
oh that's so, that was so far eight hours i said i could remember i uh, like our dry uh drive was only like two and a half hours and i said how much is it going there like eight eight hundred euros i said I don't know. so those things that you have to remember too when you are uh with a group be with the group <laughs> even though you confirm it because the accent is really different so you have to confirm and verify if the way you listen the way you heard it's the same way that uh, she, she uh, you know the way it was uh, um how do you call that like instructed yeah so those things that i could not forget during at the time so how did you get back did you took the car like uh, uh, 800 euro no it was like uh, i said you know that uh how do you call that like norwegian you know cruise that's why i said it's a it's a parking where i we parked and then is this the one so it's good there were many buses there uh i said i asked and then this uh it's good there's like ncl there i said you know i was lost you know i was left i said are you from yeah uh, and I, uh, I think he called the bus driver. I think they, are, uh, they were waiting for me too. So I was so thankful during at that time. And was it really eight hours to go to the? No, it's only two and any half hours. But we went to, to how do you call that? Like a um, leaning tower okay. of Pisa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I did not. I, I, I did not enjoy because it was already night time. You know like we wasted i think like an hour instead of <laughs> enjoying the, the daylight when we went to um, leaning tower pizza okay, okay my God. i cannot believe that like you know um, they were not counting the number of people <laughs> who was the so only who thing was that i said i have a cell phone they asked my cell phone during at the time i said why is it that they did not text me like where are you and you know so wow so first time i heard something like that that's very irresponsible of the person so you can actually sue them <laughs> yeah actually i made a complaint in the in the cruise so they said okay we're gonna uh forward this to the uh, traveling agency or whoever wow. did the service with that that's too traumatic like you know and <laughs> so so that's your main uh, i was alone during at the time traveling alone in a cruise during at that time <laughs> so it's it was so scary so stressful so like it, it, i'm excited too but i mean i traveled a, a lot of uh, countries during at that time in that cruise okay so did you actually uh, get to sleep well during that night i'm just wondering oh uh, the first night you know um i was so really tired you know <laughs> traveling from chicago to germany layover going to the G greece and then going to the cruise okay so i, I could not sleep during at that time and then i think i i spent too much with the internet i spent so too much in the internet during at that time because it's so boring you know i'm alone during at that time i'm alone eating uh, uh you so know they, they don't have any activities in that cruise i think they have but you know i'm like a loner okay. <laughs> person okay. yeah i i saw many filipinos there too they asked me oh carmel why don't you come with us but mm, i said i just you know stay in my room something like that okay all right well i guess that's very unforgettable because every everybody has experienced pandemic and traveling in a pandemic but yeah. now one we're in like you know you got uh left behind by oh the, my goodness by the i said what that's if i don't have know. money anymore i said i forgot my money <laughs> yeah because like you know that makes sense too because like you know uh, once you're in a cruise you're thinking like okay you have everything there in the cruise you have the food and then you don't have to pay much unless you are buying like yeah. you know um, souvenir items in any country so but that's great that actually you have brought your wallet and then like yeah. um, you actually a miracle happened you saw this filipina lady <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. but after that i learned my lesson not to be uh, uh to listen to check to confirm and then also to bring money <laughs> wherever you are 
yeah in case of uh, an uh, you know emergency okay all right so where where else in the world would you like to go oh my god i really want to go back to dubai but i want to explore again you know the, uh, europe again you know if you are uh, in asia <laughs> you you know already the asia how okay. uh, you know it's a tropical country so you want something different that yeah. you want to explore uh, something that you want to learn something that uh, not everyone can uh, go but if you're in europe that's okay because it's already like you can drive you know uh anywhere it's like from you uh, from chicago going to wisconsin going to michigan it's easy it's like that but if you are like in the u.s you really want to go to europe and see other parts of the world something like that okay all right all right thank you so much carmel so uh let me uh, give a backgrounder for those people so like um as so i was saying in this show we talk about the good the bad and the ugly and so like um, i'm a clinical hypnotherapist and you're a linguistic programming practitioner so that's what i usually focus on so like you know taking out those uh, negative emotions that you have especially in circumstances like that that you didn't expect something like you know horrible is gonna happen so um also in this talk show you can also be your own uh, rick steve samantha brown or joseph and you can tell your story with own, with your own twist so if you are a travel enthusiast or like you're in the travel industry just uh, let me know if you are interested we would like to have you over here so you can share us you know your own story um, then um, thank you again Carmel and then we'll see you again next time mm -hmm.